So the other big news this week is uh, the new Supreme Court seat that is now available to be filled because of the passing of uh, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Now, I disagree with Justice, with Justice Ginsburg on pretty much every public policy issue, every judicial issue. I think she was much too political on the bench and off the bench. But that being said, obviously she had a pleasant personality. Her judicial temperament was uh, that was real, was uh, other than sometimes in temperate political comments, but the way she approached uh, her, her judicial decision making in terms of her interaction with her colleagues and with lawyers before her, uh, you you it's it was really quite so it was uh, it was a model uh, for other judges and frankly uh, American citizens to show how uh, how uh, our judiciary should be. Uh, treating litigants and parties before it, and how it should be interacting amongst itself. So uh, she she was a uh, she was a good jurist in that regard, even though uh, she was a liberal judicial activist. So uh, she's died, uh, and uh, she's lying in state, I think, as we speak. So the president is scheduled to speak about um, or make his announcement about the nomination tomorrow. Now, the plan for the Senate Republicans is, and I think this is a fair, uh, is to have uh, the nominee voted on and confirmed uh, by, considered and confirmed by election day. Now, the left is, is screaming, and I don't want to get into the politics of this. The Senate's controlled by Republicans. The president's a Republican. It's absurd to suggest that they would jointly decline to fill a seat that's come open. It's going to happen. Now, evidently, they have enough votes to make sure it will happen before Election Day. Evidently, they have enough votes to make sure that it's going to be a good conservative, like, uh, and I, I presume it's going to be, unless something changes, it's a guess, uh, Judge Amy, Amy Coney Barrett, who is uh, a conservative as across all, uh, um, pretty much all issues. You know, the danger sometimes that Republicans the trap Republicans have fallen to in the past. They've nominated folks they thought were conservative, but they weren't necessarily conservative on every issue or major issues. And so uh, they've come to regret some of the picks. Now, Judge Amy Coney Barrett doesn't know, really fall into that category. Of course, you know, you never know. But she certainly has got the background. And, um, and I talk about temperament. She'll be a, uh, based on everything all of her colleagues, both uh, when she were, she was working at Notre Dame University, um, is um, all of her colleagues just love her. I mean, she's just, you know, on both sides of the aisle, just love her. Uh, but she's because she's a, just a great person. So uh, as I said about all those nice things about Justice Ginsburg, she'll be in that mode. She'll be a wonderful jurist in the Supreme Court if she's nominated by President Trump. Now there's another judge and Florida that's up and, you know, some other judges that are up. But I, I don't know if President Trump's going to pick them. So assuming it's Amy Coney Barrett, you can expect the left will go crazy. They don't have the votes to stop her, so they'll try to smear her and destroy her like they tried to do with Judge Kavanaugh, who's now Justice Kavanaugh. The price Kavanaugh paid was too high and unacceptable. And Judicial Watch uh, filed complaints about the Senate on the lack of ethics, the legal community's lack of ethics. Of course, no one wanted to do anything about those complaints. And so they'll be back doing it again because there was no accountability. If I were uh, Lindsey Graham, I'd say, you know what, Mitch McConnell? We don't need to do a hearing. We know how this is going to work. Let's just go straight to the floor and have a debate. Barrett was put up for her current judicial position by Trump just a few years ago. Senator Feinstein attacked her for her Catholicism, her faith, and they're already doing it, suggesting she's some lunatic Christian. I'm tired of the Christian bashing in this town by the left, by the way. And you can you would bet there's gonna be a lot of it if Justice Barrett, Judge Barrett is nominated. Frankly, anyone who's nominated, they're gonna go after. So prepared for some nastiness, uh, 
but I remember what they did to Kavanaugh. I, you may not, uh, you, you may not know this as you watching now, but I attended the Kavanaugh hearings. I attended the initial hearings, and I hand, I attended that hearing where that woman bore false witness against Kavanaugh, and I saw those leftist senators smirking and sneering and giggling as Kavanaugh was torn apart and had to fight for his reputation and, and preserve and protect his family as well, which was also being attacked. What do you think is going to happen this time around? Oh, wait, the left, we already know what's going to happen. The left is threatening violence. The left is threatening violence again. They're threatening the pack of the courts. Now you hear that and you may wonder, what does that mean? It means that statutorily Congress can, with the consent of the president, obviously, I guess they can override a video, expand the number of court seats. So their thinking is, well, President Trump got to appoint two justices that we think are invalid or three. So let's expand the court by three seats. That's what Roosevelt tried to do. And the American people rebelled, re, re, rebelled because, as Justice Ginsburg said, you know, you get into, and I think even Joe Biden said at one point, you get into this tit for tat. So the Republicans then come around and they expand the court by three seats and they get their nominees on. So how big should, should the Supreme Court be? Should it be the size of the House? The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals has about 50 judges on it, both active and inactive judges, senior judges that still participate in some way in the process. Should we have 50 people on the court? That's what court packing would lead to. They want to tear apart the constitutional system because if you, make, if you get into this court packing program, it essentially says that it's all politics. As it is, the court is too political. It will ruin the court in that regard and ruin our constitutional system.